Hi, I'm Jackie Wicks, and I'm co-founder of Peer Trainer. And today I want to talk about Dr. Furman. We here at Peer Trainer incorporate a lot of Dr. Furman's ideas. And doc, who is Dr. Furman? He wrote two substantial books, and he's written several, but the two I want to talk about, the first one's Eat to Live, uh, who actually Dr. Mehmet Oz collaborated and sort of wrote the forward with. And if you're not familiar with Dr. Oz, he's on Oprah pretty much every week, and he, he's a not only a wonderful physician, he's respected in so many different communities. And, and Dr. Furman also wrote two new books called Eat for Health, and they're sort of his two new books. And we incorporate a lot of his ideas. And because the reason we incorporate a lot of his ideas is because he's talking about things that the government's talking about, your doctor's talking about, really at large, the whole world's talking about, you gotta get a diet with fruits and vegetables and plant-based foods. The difference with Dr. Furman, and I want to talk about his first book for a minute because I really believe they need to be read in succession. You need to read Eat to Live first, and then you need to read Eat for Health. And when I say need, yes, this is suggested reading, but this is the kind of reading that's changed my life. So I, I feel very strongly about it and changed my approach with sort of what we do. Eat to Live talks about fruits and vegetables and plant-based foods, but the most important thing it does is it talks about why they're important. It talks about it from a historical context. It's very challenging for anyone to eat fruits and vegetables and beans and things. And why? Because unless your mom made it for you since you were little, it doesn't taste that good. You know you should be doing it, but then you have to deal with the entire thing of how am I gonna make this taste good? Even I've tried to make beans from scratch. I've soaked them overnight, and I still come up with beans that I can't even eat. I mean, for me, I, you know, I've sort of left it to the Mexican restaurant to make beans taste good. It's hard to do these things ourselves. But the thing about it is, is when someone shows you why this stuff is so important from different information in different cultures, suddenly you'll put your focus on it and you'll put your attention on it. And that's why it was such a profound book, because suddenly you have a huge mind shift. Whoa, this isn't just the whole world telling me I need to eat plant-based foods and fruits and vegetables. I have to do it now for a variety of reasons. But the thing about Eat to Live is suddenly it opens a Pandora's box. The Pandora's box is now I know I have to do it, but I have no idea how I'm going to do it. You're stuck with that whole thing of how am I going to make spinach taste good without the creamed butter and cheese. And that's where Eat for Health comes in, and that's why I'm such a fan of Eat for Health, because Eat for Health talked about the practical ways to do it. Not only to talk about practical suggestions for recipes and different things, and it was a little bit more of a lightweight approach, it also talked about sort of how you rate vegetables and fruits. If you would believe, if you had a blueberry or an apple in front of you, it would talk about why a blueberry has more nutrients. I mean, who knew that all fruits weren't created equal and all vegetables weren't created equal? But the most important thing is after I finished the Eat for Health book, I closed it, I went over to my blender, and I made a smoothie right out of the book, and I put some spinach in it. I never really had that idea before. Sure, I've had it from those book sneaky chefs, but they're putting in such small amounts of vegetables where Dr. Furman's talking about how you really need to incorporate this th stuff to really change your life, that he gave me this practical way to do it. I stuck a lot of spinach in there. My son didn't even taste it. This is why when you have a set like this, you've, you've really changed your thinking, but then you have this practical approach, and then you team it up with the Weight Watchers point system, and then you maybe throw in a couple other things, and this is how we talk about diet fusion, getting the best of everything to incorporate in your life and really customize it for your life. You start to get your entire, you start to get all the puzzle pieces and you start to put them in. And I have to say that before I had the material from Dr. Furman, and of course he's written different things, Disease Proof Your Children and all different things, but until I had really gotten these books, I didn't really understand what a different spinach was going to make in my life and what a difference blueberries and these things were going to make in my life because now I understand the why. I understand why I must do it now and we've seen so many successes with it that I I, I truly, I, I feel comfortable being here, you know, again, as co-founder of Peer Trainer, saying these are books that no matter what, you will learn a great deal from.